Hello everybody, I'm here with another LEGO Star Wars review. Today we're taking a look at a 2014 LEGO Star Wars set. This is the 75038 Jedi Interceptor with 223 pieces. Includes two minifigures, uh, which is Anakin and R2-D2, and used retail for 25 US dollars. So a fair price for this set, honestly, compared to the price per piece. Um, I said 240, right? Uh, no, 220. Uh, it's an okay price, honestly they could have added one more minifigure and this would have been a much better set, but uh, nonetheless we know that LEGO doesn't really do that too much with the Jedi Interceptors. Um, it's named Jedi Interceptor and not Anakin's Jedi Interceptor, not too sure why, but I guess that's kind of just how they did it. Um, so yeah, looking at the minifigure, we have uh, Anakin Skywalker himself. And he comes with his regular outfit from Star Wars Episode 3, hairpiece, and then he has two faces which have the headgear for his um, for his comm, I guess. And then there's also R2-D2 included. This is uh, the newer version of R2-D2 that we have with the chrome, not chrome, but I guess silver dome, and uh, just some better printing in general. So that's it for the minifigures, nothing too exciting there. You're really getting the basic figures you need. Um, uh, that's yeah, that's about it for this uh, for the minifigures in this set. If you take a look at the vehicle, um, it has a really nice detailing all around the place. Um, it has a few stickers, not nothing too excessive, um, but I do enjoy how it, there's so much detailing and so much attention to uh, the color scheme and the small details like these guns over here, which don't really do anything, but they're still here. Uh, the flaps that open up, obviously you can open up the flaps like in the movie. That's a really cool look. Um, and then here on the under part, we've also got some great pieces. Um, taking a look here at the top part, this is where you fit R2-D2 inside. What I do prefer from this one compared to the newer Obi-Wan's Interceptor is that R2-D2 fits completely inside and only his head is popping out, not pretty much his entire body like on the other version. Uh, there's a little Republic emblem over here. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. What you can do, since R2-D2's feet are just uh, popping out on the under part like this, you can just push with your fingers and then eject him if you want. I don't even know if that's a fun feature, but you could just do it yourself. Um, and here you got some more detailing. If we take a look at the engines, uh, they're pretty much the same, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of just see what you get with this set. I, I'm trying to emphasize on how uh, LEGO used a small amount of pieces to make this uh, Jedi Interceptor look much better than the previous versions. Uh, it looks very much detailed. Uh, this entire cockpit piece is printed, by the way, and so is this piece. Open it up, and you got the sticker here for the control panel. It's pretty cool. And then this is where you put the lightsaber. So we're just gonna fit Anakin in there. Um, it's a decent fit. It's not too hard to get him in there. And there you go. And it's pretty simple, that's that's about it for the vehicle. I do have to mention that there are some flick fire missiles under it, which you have to just plug in like this, and then you just go like this. Whoops. So yeah, uh, nothing too exciting, it's the same one we've always seen, so whatever. However, I do want to compare this set, so let me grab on the older so this one here is the 2005 model um, that we have. It is a bit dusty and disgusting, but um, shouldn't appear too much on camera. Uh, there is quite a bit of difference, honestly, because the, the newer one here is much bigger. Way, way bigger. Um, and this one, obviously, is less realistic. This one uses pieces to show the detailing on the wings and then this one just simply uses stickers to show that there's some gray here. Uh, the cannons are much better looking here and here they just added some blue things to emphasize that those are actually cannons. 
then we have these little side cannons, which are really, uh, they really just fit into the vehicle. Here it kind of just looks odd, you don't really know what's going on, so that's the major differences. Uh, the wing panels honestly have not changed, they're the same sticker I feel like, or barely different. Um, and then once again it's like, here they use grill pieces, here they just use a sticker, so th those are the major differences, it just looks much more detailed. Um, that's what the cockpit looks like on the older one, here on the newer one we have a full on cockpit. We don't have the seat or the joystick in the middle, but we do have uh, this entire panel here. So yeah. And then in the old one, R2-D2's head was just fitting here like this, and then under it, nothing. So you can just ask yourself how he, how he would fit in there. And then here in the new one, he has his entire little thing to get inside. So yeah. Um, so that's actually it for the for this Starfighter, or for this Interceptor. Uh, definitely the older one, less detailed, uh, less pieces, looks worse in general. <laughs> uh, but here the newer one has so much to offer compared to the older model. So definitely a huge upgrade. Um, it is an identical build, I would say, to the Obi-Wans that came out in 2016. I do want to show you what the flaps open looks like, because that's kind of a basic highlight of the set. <laughs> uh, here we have a look. So yeah, so yeah kind of cool. You can definitely get a little stand and open those wings up and stuff. But that's going to be it for the uh, Jedi Interceptor. Please leave some comments and feedback in the comment section below. Definitely highly recommended set and kind of an essential set for any uh, prequel Star Wars fan. And uh, it's just going to fit very nicely in your collection in general. Uh, and it is a very fun play to set with. Uh, so guys, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time here on the Metal Channel for another great LEGO video. Bye-bye. The Dark Side.